Hello, everyone. Today I'm issuing an order for all condominiums, apartments, and other buildings to close their pools and gyms and other amenities to help Miami-Dade County fight the spread of the coronavirus. These new closures also include all pools and gyms that were serving less than 10 people. Unfortunately, some people are not taking this seriously and they're not practicing social distancing. In addition, I want to stress that golf courses that I ordered closed cannot turn into parks. Apparently, there are large groups of people gathering at golf courses with sidewalk access in Coral Gables and other places. I have already closed all parks and golf courses countywide. Closed golf courses cannot become open parks. If you need to go out and walk your dog or get fresh air, that's fine, but you must practice social distancing and stay six feet away from others. Remember, act as if everyone is carrying the virus. This also means that when you go grocery shopping or to the pharmacy, you shouldn't take a carload of people with you. One or two people going to the store from one household should be more than enough. I also want to call attention to the need to enforce the countywide social distancing order in our cities. Miami-Dade police are patrolling the areas and enforcing the social distancing rules. We will shut down those businesses that are not marking locations so people stay at least six feet apart. This applies to the employees at those stores and the patrons who must go to them. I expect municipal police departments to enforce this countywide order. To beat COVID-19, we cannot have people in groups anywhere in Miami-Dade County or anywhere else in South Florida for that matter. Earlier today, Governor DeSantis and Lieutenant Governor Nunez joined me and mayors of Broward, Palm Beach, and Monroe counties to announce our regional strategy to combat the spread of COVID-19 in South Florida. The governor is signing an order to codify the agreement that ha our four counties have reached with one unified message stay safer at home. We also have agreed that our emergency activation level will remain where it is to deal with changing circumstances in the four counties. This is not a hurricane that's uh, coming at us and will be gone after a day. This is a prolonged health emergency and we have to act strategically as circumstances change. We've also agreed that there is no need for countywide curfews in South Florida at this time. Cities can call for a curfew if they need it. I also want to thank the governor for signing an order allowing recently retired first responders to come back to work to help in the fight against COVID-19. Thank you, everyone, for your teamwork during this difficult time. Remember, stay safer at home and practice social distancing if you must go out. May God bless all of you in South Florida dealing with this pandemic.